This is the team's third expedition to these shark-filled waters below Mexico's Guadalupe Island. Captain Brett knows this harsh environment well. The island itself kind of mirrors what goes on underwater. You know, you just look up there and you can, it just looks inhospitable and rugged, like you would have a hard time surviving anywhere up there and you can get hurt real easy, just like right here in the water. Guadalupe is one of a handful of locations around the world where great whites gather. And Dr. Domeyer thinks they come here to breed. For many years, I've thought that white sharks are very likely mating at these adult aggregation sites. But I've never been able to figure out a way to prove that. By having these white sharks on the deck of the boat, I was able to start looking for stuff like blood hormone levels and sperm. Finding sperm was the first thing that really started to pick up this idea. Yes, they are mating here. But I couldn't just say I saw sperm. I had to actually collect it and, and, and stain it and put it underneath a microscope and take a picture to prove it to the world. Oh, 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 hang on. We got something. Just yesterday, he thought he finally had a good sperm sample from a 14-foot male named Biteface. Oh, that's huge. All right, let's get this guy back in the water. But he and associate Nicole Lucas quickly discover they were wrong. Here's our sample. It's the right color. Well, we might have a sperm cell here, but it is not moving. It was his first attempt to examine great white sperm under a microscope. It's not sperm swimming all around in this sample. I kind of expected to see things wiggling around. Later, he recognized his mistake. He needed to look for something called a spermatophore in the seminal fluid. Shark reproduction is a bit different than what you might expect. The sperm in males actually comes out in these little packets called spermatophores, and they look like grains of rice. So I'll be looking for those on this trip. Now, 24 hours later, he needs a new sperm sample to try and isolate those grain-like patterns. It's the proof he needs to finally determine if males are here to mate. 